why I always feed my snakes at night time. Because they're up moving a lot during the day. I take them out of their enclosures and everything. At night time, they know kind of about when I retire for the evening. So they'll come right down if I don't come out and feed them. Because they think, well, she's not going to feed us tonight. Maybe tomorrow. So they settle right in. So when I come out to feed them, they're nice and calm. And I don't have any bad feeding problems with them because they're all mellowed right out and very calm. Lydia, she, she likes to inspect her food just like Grumpy does. There's Faye, there's Lydia. Faye, Grumpy's protecting his, he does that all the time. And we got Ginger and Tipper both eating, both of my ball pythons and corn snakes are eating tomorrow. So I prefer to feed them at night because they're chilled out. They figure, well, she didn't feed us today. We, we may as well rest for the night. So by the time I get their food dog and come out to feed them, they're all settled in for the night. Most of them are sleeping. So I don't get any bad experiences with feeding them. They're not aggressive. They're not defensive. They're really calm and they jump right on it as soon as it hits the cage. But they're all drop fed, so they don't really strike their food. But I found night feedings are a lot less stressful on me and a lot less stressful for them. They're a lot calmer. They've chilled out. They've had a day of exercise and activity. So at night, they have a better eating experience, a calm one, a gentle one, which is really how you want your snakes to be. I mean, they have a strong feeding aggression, granted, but... They aren't strike happy. They're actually very relaxed when they eat this late at night. I wouldn't have it any other way. They eat like champs at night. Lydia, you're upside down, sweetie. <laughs> I wanted to show Aggie Cass how big she is now. She's a good eater. She's getting ready to shed, it looks like. Sorry about that, my cat has mother withdrawal if he can't see me. He's as bad as my snakes are, I swear. But I might show Ed and Cass how big Lydia is. She's a, such a good girl. She's so friendly and social. I had to take her hide box out to feed her. So she has more room to strike out. She's going into a bigger enclosure too, probably before then the winter. She has plenty of room in this one, as you can see, but I just like to have them have a little more move around space. She's not cramped, but I just prefer to have them in an enclosure that they can move around freely and exercise and you know. Faye, did you lose your rat? Did you lose your rat? Oh dear me. Did you lose your rat? <laughs> Faye's notorious for losing his rat once he Bites it and sets it down to turn it the way he wants it. He can't find it. It takes him a while, but he'll find it. There it is. You lost it. Oh, I found it. <laughs> Snakes are so entertaining. Yeah, I'm shaky. I'm tired. I've put in a long day. I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning. But they're my world. I love them to death. Did you lose your rat, Fade? You're so good at that. How's yours, Grumpy? You enjoying your rat? Yeah. I love to feed them at night before bed. That way I know I go to bed, they got a full belly, they're gonna rest, they're gonna digest, no stress, nothing to bother them. And another reason I prefer night feedings, so they can be calm and digest their food. Tipper, what are you doing? You already ate yours, you piggy. Ginger's up there munching out on hers. After a long day, I'm not really good with the camera because I have tremors anyway from my spine damage, but it doesn't stop me from trying. I'll probably do it until the day I die because I love these guys that much. You already ate, glutton. Tipper, Tipper, you already ate. You can't have Ginger's. You already ate yours. These are all large rats. They're all eating large rats. And I'm thawing out six more for tomorrow. Chewy's eating tomorrow. 
And uh, Chewie's eating tomorrow, and Grumpy will eat another one. Fade usually only eats one, but Grumpy's good for two, so Chewie will eat two tomorrow. So I'm throwing out, you're not getting another one, Pepper. You just ate. Good grief. No wonder you're so big and strong. Look at you. But yeah. I, was, I had a relapse from my ear infection, so I was out of it for about two or three days again. But it's clearing up itself. And I am not letting anybody put tubes in my ears to stop them from getting plugged up and infected. You still can't find your rat, Fade. You're so goofy. You'll find it. I'll come out here in an hour. It'll be gone, so I'm not too concerned with him. Is that good grump? Is that good grump? I'm having a midnight snack. That's what I'm doing. Huh. That's good stuff. I love these enclosures. For what I paid for them, they're well worth it. This is a great area for a basking light over here. It's a bin over here. Now the shorter cages, like the one Liddy and that one up there, they don't have the basking thing on the end, but they do have a van on each end. So I take and use my little uh, small globe halogen lights that I get from Zilla. And I have the red bulbs for night, and I have the blue bulbs for night, and I have the white bulbs for daytime light. So I just swap bulbs around. I got them all on a power strip, so they're all set on a timer. They go on and off with the timer. So really, you don't have to kill yourself to take care of your animals. All you gotta do is know how to do it and do it right. But I swear by these little mini dome lights. Well, they got 15 watt halogen bulbs in them. I keep the red night light on for them to keep them warm on one end. It's cheaper than using belly heat and that has the same effect on them. If they get too warm, they go over by on the other end and wrap around the water dish. So it's a win-win situation using them. And Zilla really did a good job with these many globes. I love them. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got 12 of them total. They're on all these. Every one of them. And that's a white light. They all have a fluorescent light that fits see the indentation up there. That's where their white fluorescent lights drop down in there. So they're really nice too if you want a brilliant light to see what you're doing. There goes my camera focusing on its own again. Stupid thing. I hate it when they do that. I give all my snakes a really big water dish, mainly because they can use it to play in. They keep from getting bored. They find the, they actually entertain themselves on a big water dish, and it helps them if they're getting ready to shed. So there are no reasons really why you should deny them a little extra activities in their enclosure. Give them something for entertainment. My, I've got four young male pastabis in here. And they just love to get in this thing and play together. Usually they're in here all at the same time, but the other three were in here earlier and they're all in the hide sleeping. So this one's out by itself playing in the water. Give them a little extra activities in their life. Who wants to sit around all the time? Come on, really. It doesn't take much effort to do it. Give them something that's beneficial to them. Are you having fun? Are you having fun in your water? They love it in there. I change it every night before I go to bed, refresh it. Are you having a good time? Huh? You like your water dish, don't you? I hate to see my snakes sitting around bored. It just drives me up a wall. If they're not moving or not looking around and not curious, I figure there's something just not right with them. Because they are naturally very curious animals. And they are active animals. Unless they're resting or shedding. Most of the time they're very active. Give them a little something to do for activities. To use some muscles. To use some energy. It's good for them. Won't hurt them. You can see the snake room from this window. They love this window. The sun hits it the first part of the day. 
I close the curtain a little bit so the sun won't hit the water because I don't want it to turn green or get old, but I change it every night anyway. But I love giving my snakes something to look at, and to be curious about, and to do for activities. It really bugs me to see them just laying around all the time. None of mine do that. Only when they're getting ready to shed or after they eat and they're digesting food. Mine are up and going constantly. Look at you. You having fun? You having a good time? They love this window here. You're getting ready to shed. That's why you're in there playing, huh? Look how dark you are. They just have a blast, don't they? Do something special for your snakes. It's not going to hurt you. It won't ruin your day to do it. It's very rewarding, actually. 